Here is box one of two. Looks like all the main assembly parts came in the smaller size box. They were all individually bubble wrapped very nicely. It appears the chair or gaming seat came in its completely owned box. No other parts were in there, so that was really nice. And unlike other people, it said, you can see my cat likes the box. Box came very nice, no damage. I'm very happy with the packaging. Everything was all there. Well, so far appears to be. And we'll get to uh, getting her assembled here. All right. Here we have all the pieces unwrapped. All right, here we are. First page of the instructions. We have one through four complete. And I must say the build is going together pretty quick and pretty easily here. All so the other yeah. hardware was basically attached to the pieces that it was necessary for which made assembly just great it was so nice and one thing is you'll notice when you get your seat out which I believe was packaged beautifully box itself no other parts in it nothing stuffed in bubble wrap definitely seemed adequate for the way the packaging was UPS you did a great job getting it to me I appreciate that put the mount on there do two, slide it forward, and then put the other two in. And we should be about done. Back bolts in. And there is a little bit of adjustment on everything, but I have everything to try and go as forward as much as possible. Uh, oh. Great attachment options for adding a butt kicker or some other type of transducer to the bottom of the seat here. I did want to verify. I have a T3PA set right here and I was able to use the original mounting holes. I didn't have to drill any out. However, I did have to bring it up a little bit so it doesn't sit nicely on a little shelf down here that's made, let's see if we can get that in focus. Little lip right there that's made for it to sit against. Um, so we'll see, I'll give it a few tests. If I notice it has to be all the way down, I'll uh, end up putting in a few holes, but I was able to get it mounted nice and snug. Doesn't seem like they're going anywhere. I mean, this rig is pretty, pretty dang solid. Yeah, I have the two remaining side rails mounted. Uh, basically, they just slide over a little piece of pipe or square tubing. Then you cinch those two down, all three if you feel like it. I'm saving the back one, of course, for the triple monitor mount. Is we're gonna slide the chair, connect those two holes up with those two holes. Put in the supplied bolts, and we're going to be ready to go. GTR simulator fully assembled. As you can see, the floor mat came in. And right behind the simulator, I do have the monitor mount ready to assemble. This cross brace here. And I just want to say, when this thing's in place, it isn't going anywhere. I mean, you can just rack on this thing. I mean, you probably could put a monkey wrench on there. I don't think you'll need a JB Weld or do anything. You won't have to put any braces in. This thing is solid. If you did want to mount it, um, this is actually ingenious. This isn't a tilt steering adjustment, but underneath here, you'll see there's a bolt here. You'll loosen that. And then on the back, right here, and then you have one on the front. You take those off, and the whole bracket comes right off of this. You can bolt it to your steering wheel, put it right back on, and this cross beam no longer becomes an issue with those bolts that are right here. It, I, it's great. Where people um, were talking about needing to get this closer. Um, well, one big thing I've noticed is it's got quite a few adjustments. Not only can you slide it out quite a bit, but you can take it off completely, flip it around, and you just got yourself about two to three more inches of distance. Also, you can take this completely off. Almost every shifter I've seen on the market has a clamp system for it. So not only could you clamp it straight to this, you could clamp it to this bracket piece here, 
If you really want it up close, you could clamp it to this thing. I mean, there's so many different options, you're, you're not going to run into an issue with trying to find it working for you. The Thrustmaster pedals. Um, as uh, some people had said, they wouldn't fit with the pre-drilled holes. Um, previous clip I showed, you were able to use the holes. Um, of course, it does ride up a little bit higher. I personally found I like it sitting right flush against the bottom of the plate. So I did put in two additional holes. It was real easy, no major issues. Went through nice and cleanly. I would say on a ruggedness scale, this thing is an 11 out of 10. The seat, everybody that I've had over just loves the seat. Super comfortable, super durable. It isn't some cheap foam that's gonna wear in in a week or two. This thing is gonna hold up over time. To the main part here, we actually have the pieces for the monitor mount. So this, if you bought it all in one kit or if you decide later on to add it on, this will be the pieces for the monitor mount. Fairly straightforward. As you can see here, we have the main bracket. This will be for the main monitor. These two poles right here. The short ones are for the sides to go in. The two L shapes on the end, those are the feet. And then to the left side, those two straight poles will be the extensions. All so we're going to do is take one of these L brackets here. And as you can see, it's got that bar on this one already assembled in place. So here, you're just going to loosen those bolts up. You're going to slide the piece that came out with the main system. This is going to slide all the way through this one into the seat to make it one solid mamma jamma. So here then, we have the bottom brackets in place. Um, so of course, if you're adding this on um, all in one kit, it'll be pretty easy. You'll just slide it right in here. No big issues. If you're doing it as an add-on, these little end pieces sit here. This is screwdriver, pops off pretty easily. And then this is the standard piece to connect them with here. You'll just remove that out. Then this one, like I showed you before, it has that piece already in. Slides through here and here. So now this will become all one solid piece. Tighten these down, bada bing, bada boom. We're in business there. Two uprights in place. These go right in. These two center thing. mounts. You do not have to use them. You can actually put the center monitor mount right in there flush. It brings it level to here. And then with the two monitor sides coming off, it is a perfect size surround sound holder for speakers. The center in the middle and then the two left and right. Just with the completed product here. We have the GTR, and then we have with the added triple monitor mount to make it the GTRF model. And right now I have the monitor mount at the lowest setting. But again, this thing is fully adjustable. I believe there's over 18 inches or so um, from that point there to raise it up. Of course, I would tighten them more if you had a monitor on there. And look, and look how easy that's sliding. Of course, if you're easy, you're not going to constantly ding your metal. I don't see you moving these things all that much, you know, pretty much. It's going to be set it, lock it in, and the only thing I see that you have to move is the seat. Um, being six foot and my wife being about five, six, five, seven, um, we have no issues. Only need to adjust the seat. But again, there is tons of adjustment. Like I had mentioned, right now I have everything kind of fully low or to the most lowest positions possible. But you can raise the steering wheel up. Um, but again, I mean, there's a pretty good leg height right there. I can't see many people needing more than that. Um, but if you are a little bit bigger or bigger legged or, you know, want to sit on someone's lap while they're racing, you definitely can raise that up. Stick shift can be used on both sides. You can also order an attachment that will go on this side and you can actually have them on both sides. Um, flight simulator issues. I've also seen this model in a complete 
Flight Simulator Deluxe version that has quite a few nice accessories to it. But this floor mat, I must say, is pretty, pretty cool. Very, very durable. As you can see, it fits the complete outline of the racing simulator perfectly. And it's a very nice, thick material. Almost uh, matches the seat. The matching logo up there that's hand embroidered, or at least embroidered into the leather. Leatherette. And then we also have the one up there in the corner. Little different than the website shows on Amazon, but I still think it's a pretty nice size, pretty stellar and still gives this thing a complete look and so i hope you guys all have a great rest of the day and enjoy your racing simulation